please visit www.sensebusiness.co.uk for more useful tips. People in business. Training. Training is important for a business because it helps employees become more comfortable with new processes or equipment, improves the efficiency of the workers, makes employees more valuable to the company because they become more skilled, reduces the amount of supervision needed by the workers, reduces the amount of accidents. There are three types of training. Induction training where the employee is given an instruction on the company's procedures and customs and is introduced to their co-workers. Advantages. Employees settle into their job quickly. Workers make fewer mistakes. May be a legal requirement. Disadvantages. Time consuming. Worker is being paid while not doing work. Delays the start of work for the employee. On the job training where the employee does the job while being supervised by a more experienced worker, giving tips, suggestions and help. Advantages. Employee does not need to be sent away, so cheaper than off-the-job training. There is still production from worker while training. Employee is trained exactly how the company wants. Disadvantages. Trainer won't be as productive because they are teaching employee. Trainer might have bad habits and pass on to employee. Not recognise training qualification outside the business. Off the job training, where the employee is trained away from the workplace, normally by specialised trainers. Advantages, lots of skills are taught. Trainings are sometimes off work hours, workers will still work. Employees become versatile, can be moved around company and know what to do. Disadvantages, expensive to send employees off to expert trainings. Workers are being paid but not doing any work. Professional training gives employees additional. Sometimes a company might need to reduce the size of the workforce, possibly because of automation, robots replacing human jobs, less demand for products or services. Business might have relocated abroad. Business being take over merged and now there are too many workers doing the same job. Companies need to think ahead on the future and establish how many employees they will need and their skills. This is called workforce planning. When a business needs to reduce the number of employees, they can either dismiss the employees or make them redundant. We have prepared 10 questions for you to practice. Visit the link below to test yourself please visit www.sensebusiness.co.uk for more useful tips.